Hi guys, so let's start and this is today's for uh, advanced level video. Welcome to my channel Chess Center and let's start the video. This is today's first puzzle and the question is why to play and give your best move. So come on guys, why to move, give your best move. Pause the video and start thinking. Okay guys, so I am quickly moving on to the answer and hope so you have already paused and uh, found the answer and now you are waiting for me to clarify and confirm the answer. So let's start. The best move here is C. First thing you should understand before seeing the answer is this pin is this queen is spinning the knight and the queen. This rook is spinning the knight and rook. Uh, both two white pieces are attacking the knight and two black pieces are defending that knight. Okay. So if white wants to capture that knight, white would uh, should have more number of attackers. And there are two ways to increase the uh, to get the more number of attackers. For example. If you want to come first in the exam, there are two ways. Either you score more or very simple way, decrease the score of your friends. So nothing that, that was just a joke. Like in the same manner, you can do over here. And that is either increase uh, your attackers or decrease the opponent's defender. Okay. And so white, the best move for the white is knight d6 blocking. This is on the based on the tactic line closing and the line gets blocked of the rook. In case rook tries to capture the knight, we will get, play the queen d8 and that will lead to a checkmate. Okay. And uh, for instance, if he doesn't kill, so in short, you can say he's forced not to kill. So what else can he play? If he plays like something like h6, we can comfortably kill with the rook or queen. Both is okay. Rook uh, is giving more advantage. So you can kill with the rook. That is better variation. Even killing with the queen is okay. Now the best move for the black would be here rather than h6 is to take on the pawn of b2 that is queen cross b2. Why? Here if white mistakes and kills with the rook, this is the last counter attack in the trap from the black side that if it kills over here, it can lead to a deadly checkmate leading with the back rank. Okay, so just the last trap and the counter attack from the black side. So white has to just defend this and the game will be extremely smooth for white. For example, like this. If we uh, white has to best move, white can play h3, h4, 2. That is good. g3 is also okay. But the best is king f1. As we are shifting towards the end game, so we should get our king out and centralize it as soon as possible. Okay, so that was the main reason. Okay, why king f1 is more better. And secondly, now whatever he does, we will get the knight. For example, what if he moves the knight away? I have an answer for that too. Just wait, guys, for a minute. The first and foremost important thing over here is if he moves his knight away. For example, here, here, sorry, the arrow went wrong. Uh, if he takes his knight over here, that is more closer to the king and easier to defend the king with that. For example, if it doesn't move and if he plays h6, we can easily grab on the knight with either rook or queen. A uh, killing with the rook is better, but uh, if you kill with the rook, he will come down and give you a check. Then you can simply play go to e2 and then again run away. So that is completely fine. Killing with the rook, killing with the queen is also okay. Second important thing. Now what if he moves away the knight? If he moves away the knight, he is going to be trapped. The uh, trap, yes, uh, it is a short shot mate. This is a mate in 3. Like we will play queen e6 check, king is 2, king cannot come out because otherwise with the support of knight we will play the queen on queen over here and it would be mate. King f8 and queen h f8 and f7, queen f7 checkmate with the support of knight. So he is forced to go on h8, knight f7 check, he is forced to come out and here we can take on the rook and it will lead to a checkmate. But I want to show you smothered mate. What is smothered mate over here? If the uh, cost of position of smothered mate has come. For example, just imagine you don't have this rook. Okay. You don't have this rook. Then what will you do? How will you checkmate? The same reason for, for that the, uh, the queen should be on this diagonal to attack. Secondly, from any of this squares here, 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 anywhere, not here, any of this squares, knight should attack on f7. It can be on any square, it should attack f7 square. Secondly, uh, there should be two pawns or this, there should be something which is blocking the king over here and there, which is not supporting on this square too. Pawns or maybe a bishop over here and uh, another bishop over here is also fine or no, not bishop. Another knight over here is fine. 
so something like that but for now you just uh, uh, take an example of there are two pawns over here ahead and there should be a rook not queen compulsory a rook on the last line to defend the last line now let's see what happens we will give a check he will go inside knight f7 check he is forced to come out and now after this the very very important move that is knight h6 check giving a double check which will not oh, sorry yeah so which will not him let him capture like this or like this and he is forced to move his king as i said in double check he have to move the king anyhow yeah if the king cannot move then you can move the king and capture something but compulsory moving the king if king cannot be moved it would lead to a mate so double check means moving the king compulsory so now he king cannot come out otherwise queen will come here and it will lead to a checkmate so forceful he will go inside and another deadly move extremely double exclamatory mark excellent move comes over here queen g8 checkmate so guys you play queen g8 checkmate sorry i mean to say queen g8 not checkmate by mistake i said the rook will come here rook will kill the queen and then this is called as smothered mate this position this position is not exactly the same but similar that means where black is either we force the opponent or opponent by himself blocks his king by his pieces uh, from all the sides uh, and then our knight simply goes and just gives him a silly check and it leads to a checkmate so hope so you guys uh, like the puzzle like this puzzle and okay so now let's move on okay guys so hope you guys like the puzzle hit the like button guys subscribe the channel and make sure uh you push the notification button to all and share it to all your friends too okay guys so hope so you have liked the video and comment me did you like it or... okay guys so i am back with another puzzle and let's start guys the this puzzle uh, the question is on your screen the question is why to play and give your best move so come on guys you are why you have to give your best move so tell what will you play i am uh, starting with the answer whoever wants to think just pause and think and now i am quickly moving to the answer the best move here is d5 yes why see for example if you play d5 there are three variations one is king d7 king uh, b6 and that is killing the pawn it is forced there is no other option yes killing with the queen is a option but i would not like to count on it neither this move too why let's go ahead and check it out see the first uh, first important thing if it kills with the queen we will put our bishop here and it will lead to a pin so he won't do that second option is see sir if a pawn was on b3 we can agree with that d5 was good now why d5 is good well, because even if it kills with the king you are thinking yeah, the if pawn is on b3 we can do a linear attack like this correct with the support of pawn but there are other better options let's check out that is playing the king over here uh, means uh, d5 king cross d5 and now we are going to play queen h1 see you have a center open you have a bishop pair supported by the rook and queen and which can give a real threats there can be a real danger for the black kings let's check it out uh, there would be, it would be very very dangerous and now this is going to lead to a checkmate like he is forced to go over here as this line is blocked this diagonal is blocked too only this diagonal is open even these two squares are blocked by the pawn and let's see we are just going to bring our bishop over here and it will lead to a checkmate in one move it is a checkmate but in forced no to avoid the checkmate he is to put this bishop in between and we will kill the bishop and it will lead to a checkmate okay so this was the variation if he kills now question comes what if it doesn't then let's check out d5 i would not uh, go to the variation of this or this as uh, answer is uh, very easy like using the bishop and attacking everything so that variations like black is creating program problem for for himself so i am not interested in knowing that variations like if he plays this then play this and if he plays this then play your bishop over here then he will go he has to go down then you can play that so better i would say just avoid it it is useless i going in that variations and let's check out d7 move king d7 so what happens if we go here what is the best move for white 
So best move for the white would be, I am sure majority of you would have missed this answer, the best move here is rook e6. Why? There are many reasons, it gives a good support in attack to many pieces and on the other side, even we are bringing it for a linear attack or pin, whatever you say. Because both the points are of the, both the pieces are of equal points. Now what is the plan? We are, we are, or we are planning to put the queen ahead, exchanging the queens and then putting the rook over here. Now there are many variations that he can play, the best variations maybe would be either a6 or c6 or moving a bishop on f8 is good. These are three good variations uh, or a5 may be also a good variation. Let's count with the a6 variation like I am not going to explain each and every variation here. I know the reason I never give a half analysis, I always uh, like to give a complete analysis but the reason here is this uh, it's every variation has many sub variations so we cannot go uh, very much deep in this if you want to go much deeper you can check out by using some chess engine app or anything but i would say this is good well, how much are i am giving that much is sufficient and we can go ahead on that so let's start we play r e6 he plays a6 now the best move for us is to simply I think so queen h5 would be the best move even though a computer is showing f6 but queen h5 is better just simply exchanging the queens even why should black exchange because black doesn't have any other option other than going back and that is not at all good going to going that back even white will take the push uh, so it is better to exchange because in case queen goes somewhere else black would face a real threats of real mating threats from the white queen if white queen is on h5 and so uh, queen cross h5 is the best move for black even engine shows the same white should play g cross h5 and now there are again variations like the what if bishop goes on a8 or bishop f8 means to save this linear attack from the rook okay so uh, let's uh, take it any bishop h8 uh, bishop h8 is yes that is better for black at least more more than in bishop f8 uh, white gets more advantage so let's go with the bishop h8 variation now best move for the is yeah i think so rg6 is good rg6 rg6 is good over here and then knight will come out no that is a piece loss this is this is this yeah knight see what happens if a knight comes on the e7 if knight comes on e7 we will play f6 the plan is let the knight kill our rook for example and we and we can simply promote it like this okay and even if it kills with the bishop we will kill it will again lead to the same thing means we will kill it he kills back we will kill it back so we are getting we are anyway getting an easy promotion that's why we are sacrificing the rook and now let's go out to the bishop f8 variation bishop if goes on f8 the best move here would be f6 f6 will lead to a great advantage see anyhow all these squares where knight can go now knight cannot go uh, because earlier even knight cannot go because on both the square all the squares bishop and rook both were attacking now uh, you can say whatever he plays it is not at all good just position has entered the zugzang for example he plays c5 we will simply play f7 knight to e7 the best move would be you are not capturing with the bishop and capturing with the rook why so because we want to open this diagonal even if he kills it doesn't matter we will give him a check if he goes away we get, give 5 points and we get 6 points correct over here we will take down his bishop and if he goes back it will lead the bishop will go in pin and it cannot defend the promotion and we will promote so hope so guys this much is sufficient and this much analysis and I would like to stop this puzzle right over here. So okay guys, uh, guys hit the button, like button guys, share, subscribe, make sure you tell it to your friends too and make sure not to make the not push the notification. Okay guys, so let's start and let's move on to a third puzzle which is generally I keep it more difficult than the first two puzzles. So let's start. The question is why to play and before that guys just subscribe the channel, hit the like button and make sure you share it to your friends too and push the notification button to all so you get my daily video updates. I update, I upload video daily for you so that you can continue with your chess practice every day. 
So let's start guys, pause the video and start thinking. And I am quickly going to just start on with the answer without wasting much time. So let's start. The answer over here is, the best move for the white is to queen take cross f7. Queen takes the pawn. Why? Sir, we were actually thinking of playing with the bishop and killing the pawn. Sir, we understood the idea. If rook kills, we will simply push the pawn. And once king moves, so we get a promotion that uh, for a pawn is pawn, but for a bishop we get, uh, get a queen, so that is more dangerous. Then why? The reason being, if you, if you try to attack with the bishop like that and try to deflect, I will go up with the variation of the queen, but let's just go with the bishop. What happens is king will just move away. Now you can do nothing. Even if you kill with this, uh, kill with get your rook here to get it promoted in next chance still he can kill it with the knight and he, he will even if rook kills queen kills he will all the time he will be protecting his knight so your plan won't work understood hope so you guys understood the point bishop he will just sacrifice he will leave his one pawn and make sure you don't promote it and he will take he will recapture the pawn over here your advanced pawn you will be lost for his backward pawn not it's not backward pawn i mean it's a uh, backward pawn is a bit a different concept and like in this situation this can be counted as backward pawn or something but uh, he the pawn which was not much useful which uh, was traded for a uh, very strong and pa advanced pass pawn in short it is a bad for you it, that thing would be bad for you in this in the other way if you think queen cross f7 forces him for example if he moves his king we can easily take down here now, so what should he do? Uh, anyways, he has actually already lost. For example, if he takes with the rook, then don't you can kill if you wish to, again even promote. So first let's go with the killing only, let's uh, confirm our points. He may use the queen and we will promote and give check, okay? In case he doesn't use, he use the king, he uses the king to kill. Then what should we do? Shall we first promote or shall we first bring the rook to f1? The correct answer is yes, bringing the rook to f1, first give him a check, let him, let him try, pu try to push him to the g8 so that you can promote your pawn with a tempo. Even if he goes to g6, king g6 or e6, it doesn't matter, you can get uh, your prom pawn promotion step. Okay, this was one variation. Secondly, another important variation, like if he kills with the rook. What if he, uh, just a second, if he kills with the queen, if he kills with the queen, the best way still is kill with the bishop. Now there are two important points come which comes over here. If he kills with the rook, just simply promote, okay? But if he doesn't kill with the rook and he kills with the king, then what should we do? If anyone of us has not thought on this idea, so I thought to cover it in the analysis too. We will get our rook over here and we will do a linear attack. Forces the king aside we will kill the rook forcing him to kill the rook and we just remove the remove his defender and easily promote it so hope so you guys have enjoyed this puzzle and okay bye bye guys for this video and let's meet in the next video so make sure you guys just subscribe the channel and hit the like button okay bye guys